Today's date, September 14th, is officially deemed Support Latino Business Day in Rockford. The proclamation comes at the same time the Rockford Regional Hispanic Chamber of Commerce office is unveiled. Latinos make up nearly 20% of the local population, and business forecasts suggest Hispanic business owners will open even more shops in Rockford in the coming years. The chamber's vice president says the public can support their cause by shopping. Go eat. Go shut up. We have great business owners with jewelry, clothing, downtown, at the, in the Broadway the intersection. But we're growing. As you heard, the mayor said that we have grown by 23%. That is a big growth. The chamber also works with local organizations to promote responsible economic development and long-term sustainability for minority community members. If you don't know where to show your support, just look around. There are plenty of minority-owned businesses to visit. Michelle Rave caught up with one local entrepreneur. Michelle, she tells you, business is booming. Yeah, Mimi, it was a challenging year, and many Hispanic-owned businesses struggled due to COVID. But now there's a new resource available to help those places thrive. We were told we could no longer work. That was a hard, a hard hit that a lot of us took. Melissa Santian opened Beauty by Melissa Santian four years ago, but the salon was forced to shut down last year, taking a toll on her bottom line. I was unable to work and it was difficult for us, especially sole proprietors, where they weren't sure how to help us with unemployment because, you know, we don't get paid by the hour, we get paid by the service. Enter the Rockford Regional Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, a new resource to provide Hispanic and Latinx business owners the tools needed to succeed. The pandemic severely affected many of our business owners, specifically our Latino community, that didn't have access to information or resources and how to gain assistance for a lot of these programs. Suli Cadengo is a president of the chamber. She knew this was necessary for the community. As a business owner myself, I faced many barriers when I first started and I realized that I may not be the only one. I mean, I speak English. And it's easier for me to navigate through a lot of these like searches and systems and trying to find resources. There are several grants available currently and before that I had no idea about that I qualified for. Um, not only just for being like a sole proprietor, a private business, but also because I'm Latina, also because I'm a woman. So things like that that are just brought to the table that can help make my job a little bit easier. Santian hopes the chamber can help any Hispanic business owner who needs it. So this is a great stepping stone. We still have a lot of work to do, but this is definitely a start and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Just a few weeks ago, the Chamber held a business workshop helping out 12 local businesses. Eight of them were eligible for a grant. You can find more information about the Chamber on mystateline.com.